What up everyone, Zonova here coming at you with another patch review. This time we're going to review the patch 7.18 uh, together. It shouldn't be a big patch as uh, the World Championship of 2017 is coming up. But we're going to go through it. We're going to talk about how the meta is going to be affected. What you guys should play in solo queue. What you guys should expect from LCS. Uh, I'm very excited to see what's going on because this is going to be the last patch I believe before Worlds. So this is really going to set the tone and it's going to allow all the pro gamers to actually try hard on solo queue on the patch that they're going to be competing uh, on. So let's get into it guys. The first champion that is going to be uh, changed is going to be a Azir. Azir. We haven't seen Azir in a long time in a patch note. Uh, the R base damage is going to be increased. So we're going to go from uh, 150 uh, to 115 early, but we're gonna go up to 450 to 300. That's actually a huge amount of it's like it's the base damage, so it's actually huge. Uh, no change in ratio. I guess it gives him a little up. Uh, Azir is a champion that was lacking power uh, in late game, but I feel like the R is never used for damage. Like it's not used to burst. It's probably it's usually used to like replace enemies or just like do the do the insect like getting uh, someone in inside your team. Um, it is a nice up. It is a nice. It's a, it's a little something. It's like yeah, take it. Here's a little chocolate. Eat it, and that's it. We'll take it. Whatever. The next champion is being changed is Castlepair, guys. So the E bonus uh, against poison target shifted from base damage into a ratio. Okay, that's that's actually very interesting. So. You guys know that when a, a target is potion, when you pick Casopea, whether it's from the Q or the W, the E deals bonus damage, and now the bonus damage is going to shift from a base damage to into a ratio. So instead of getting bonus damage versus poison target, uh, it's going to go from it, it used to be from 15 to 115, and now it's going to go from 10 to 90, so which is significantly like like lower but the ratio is going to increase from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 so again like they're I, I i'm liking what if this is coming like uh, azir kasopia we're just investing in a late game of those champions i actually want to see kasopia edwards like it's a champion that i love seeing very entertaining to watch because like when she has this nice ult it's just like it makes a team fight so much more vibrant and just so so entertaining for for the viewers right so the next change is going to be on Elise, guys. So we have a long paragraph here. We're not going to read it. The W uh, on the human form, so the Volatile Spiderling, base damage is going to go uh, down significantly. Significantly, sorry. Uh, it used to be from 60 to 260, and now it's going to be from 55 to 215. So an, a huge nerf in base damage, uh, at least at all level, and an Augmentation, yeah, an augmentation, so 0 0.8 to 0 0.95 uh, in the AP ratio. It's funny, like, they want to change the AP ratios and decrease the base damage, but except for Azir Ultimate. So far, that's what we're seeing. Uh, that's pretty That's pretty strange. So, I guess they're, they also want a better... That's actually that's very smart for Elise because it is a very it was a very strong early game uh, jungle, but in late game, you were just getting super... Like, you were almost getting irrelevant or just tired. A little bit like Lee Sin, if you know what I mean. Um, you were really there to put a cocoon in, maybe pill for your ADC. Uh, but you didn't have this burst unless you buy something like Lion Drees or Zonias or like a certain amount of AP. And, and yeah, so I'm very happy to see that this is going to be changed. And now we are seeing like a more late game oriented changes. And for the repel guys, the E on spider form, the cooldown will go up. It used to be from 26 seconds to 14 second level 5. And now it will end at 18 second level 5 going at 26, 24, 22, 20 and 18. This is also a little nerf, I want to say. It, it is the escape. It is the way for at least to reset the tower and grow. But I think it's going to be fine because it's not a spell that you use like once. or like It's not a spell that you use like two, twice or three times during a team fight or a certain period of time. It's usually like a one-time thing in team fight. And as long as you have the cooldown coming in, you should be fine. Like as long as you use it at the right time, of course. So let's move on to Fiora, guys. Fiora and not Fiona. Like, I always have this issue of just calling Fiora Fiona for some, for some reason. Like, yeah, if you guys watch my gameplay videos, I have I have issues with that, and I'm sorry. Uh, 
So the passive, the duelist dance is going to be changed. The, bo the bonus movement speed is going to go up. So we're moving from a 15% to 45% um, at, at different levels. So like um, at different levels. And we're going to go from 20 to 50% uh, aug augmentation of movement speed with the passive. So this is a really good uh, up for Fiora that we haven't seen in the top lane in a while. And the R is going to be uh, also change. It grants uh, it now grants passive movement speed within its area. Wow. Okay, okay. So Shao once again gains duelist dance movement speed while in grand challenges circle. Wow. Wow. I feel like the turtle. <laughs> like, if you guys don't know this meme, the turtle says, "Wow." That's so interesting because. The R, when you put an R in the target with Fiora, it just, it stays on the target. And when the target moves, the circle moves around, right? So, Fiora is going to become such a fast champion. Uh, this is pretty insane. Honestly, this is pretty insane. Because with the Q spells, all the dashes, this is straight up insane. And I'm, I cannot wait to see this. Uh, any Fiora player, you should get excited because this is really, really sick. Alright. Another changes on Gnar, it should be a very small one. Base health going down a little bit. I guess mini Gnar base health is decreased, so no. Mega, is it? Yeah. Mega Gnar is a percentage increase in health, right? So if mini Gnar base health is decreased, I guess Mega Gnar as well. So going down 30, whatever, a little nerf, just to make the lane phase a little harder because Gnar has a lot of health and it's a range, like a half range, half melee champion, but. It was just so easy to win lane with Nar that it's a it's a good it's a good nerf, let's say. Because Fiora is coming back into the meta with this up. We're gonna see maybe like some Riven. We're gonna see stuff like Cassiopeia, for example, top. It's good like Gnar, which is a very nice uh, pick against Bruiser, so that he has less health just to balance out the matchups in the top lane. So that's super interesting. I think this is like this is well well thought out from Riot. So Gragas, guys, <clears throat> Gragas, uh, the base armor uh, is decreased and the ecological detection decreased. So base stats armor is going from 29.05 to 26.05. Can we not change the zero? Like, come on, right? Like, stop, stop maffing me, man. Just take off that zero five. Nobody fucking gives a shit. Like, nobody gives a shit about that. And the body slime, guys. So the collision detection is going to be from 2010 to 20. 2100 no 210 to 180 so this is super interesting because i feel like the body slam ratio like just the 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 hitbox as we say if you guys were uh, like world of warcraft player uh it was insane it was insane and it was just not challenging for the person that is against it like it was so hard like you just get flashed in body slam and you were getting hit like so far away from it it was just it was kind of stupid, right? So that's a good nerf. Well deserved, to be honest. Gragas is still a very valuable champion. That doesn't change anything. But it's just that if you're a player of it, it's going to be more challenging. And if you're a player against it, if you're playing against a Gragas, you'll actually have this opportunity and this chance to make a good move and save yourself from a bad situation. So hitbox offset radio is going down as well from 60 to 40. It makes total sense. And indicator changes to more accurately reflect hitbox. Okay, so it's just going to be a cone, I would say. And that's it. Uh, Ivern. Ivern, guys, uh, the E explosion based damage and ratio is going to be increased. So again, again, guys. Oh, no. Wait, both are going to be increased. I don't... Dude, honestly, guys, if I can talk to you honestly, I don't want to see any Ivern. 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 Uh, during words, I really don't like this champion. I don't think there's anything interesting about this champion, but you know what? That's just what it is. They're gonna up it a little bit more APR ratio, a little bit more base damage, just to get it there, like in the in a better tier of jungle. Sure, I'm not sure it's a valuable. I'm not sure if it's a valuable jungle. I honestly not sure if. Um, I wonder. I want to know if Koreans are actually playing it because. Huh, interesting. I mean, we'll see. I'm not a fan of this champion. I, I wouldn't say he's not valuable, but I just, I'm not a fan of it. I haven't seen it, like, being, like, super successful. Um, and overall, I don't have a memory of Koreans playing it. So, we'll see. The next change is going to be on uh, Jarvan 4. So, <clears throat> you see, guys, how it's, like, little changes. Just, like, they're tweaking a little bit the game to perfect it for the words. It, it's not a big deal. You guys are not going to see, like, amazing changes. 
just the last tweaks before World Championship. So the W base shield and shield per enemy champion is decreased. So when you get the W Golden Ages, the base shield is going to go up in uh no it's gonna go down at every level it's just gonna be decreased by five at every single level and the bonus shell per champion uh, in percentage is gonna go down uh, especially in late game going from four to three of Jarvan's maximum health so a little nerve Jarvan super strong uh, jungle we probably gonna see it a lot Edwards uh, so watch out for that a little tweak from Riot Games it doesn't hurt Kalista uh, it's going to be the first ABC change in this uh, in this patch. I see Lucian right here. So the R cooldown is going to be increased. We're going to go from 120 to 60 to 150 to 90 seconds. Uh, okay, it's a little nerf. I have to I have to admit it. I don't really like nerfing Kalista because I feel it's a champion that should be rewarded because it's such a risk to pick it. It's so easy to shut down and. It is uh, the ultimate. It's just what makes the charm of like this champion. And I, thirty second is maybe a harsh nerf. Uh, it's not gonna keep away. Uh, it's gonna. It's not gonna keep pros away from playing it. It shouldn't keep you away from playing it in Soku if you wanted to play it. But it's still a significant nerf. Like wow. Uh, but it should be available at every team fight in the late game, which which is what only matters to be honest. Uh, early game, it makes a difference, of course, if you're being like with a Thresh or something like that, or any support that can go aggressive. But you're just gonna have to be a little more patient. Uh, <clears throat> Kalista doesn't build CDR as well, so yeah, it's a nerf. It's a nerf. I don't understand that nerf to be honest, but it is what it is. So listen, why don't they just classify stuff from jungles? AD, like, why are we going from a Jarvan 4 to a Kalista to a Lucian? That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, it makes sense to me. It's uh, al alphabetical. <laughs> okay, just forget what I just said. So this, the W shield is increased at early rank, but decreased at level 5. So safeguard, base shield, you're going 40 to 55, from 100 to 110, from 160 to 165, 220 to 220, and it's going to be decreased in late game. So just a downward sloping uh, here. It's interesting, not too much since like you don't max W. Like you have W level five at level eighteen, right? Like that's that's when you have like W level five. So ah, uh, no, actually, I, no, 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 my my mistake, my mistake. Like some leasing jungle, or I think like leasing jungles actually max W after the Q. Um, I'm not sure of that anymore. Wow, I'm I have a doubt. I have a doubt. If you guys are leasing player, let me know in the comment down below. Uh, sorry, uh, I should know that. My bad. So, Lucian now is going to be the next changed uh, champion with the equal down increase at early ranks. Oh, that's an interesting, interesting nerf here. So, we're going to go from 18 seconds to 22 seconds in early game and 14 seconds in late game. It doesn't change. Late game, it's absolutely OP since like you double hit all the time. <clears throat> it's when the team fights happen. It's when like you dash everywhere, you become unstoppable. But the early, the early levels, the early levels, my friends, are gonna hurt a lot. Like those four seconds here, those four seconds can make a huge difference, especially in pro levels. Twenty-two second is a lot, is a lot, 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 lot. So technically, it is gonna be twenty. 20 second or 21 second because you pr you most likely gonna double hit after but still it's a huge growth it's a huge increase from 18 to 22 and that should be very interesting because Lucian I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure Lucian is gonna be one of the top picks in Edwards like this is one of the strongest ADC the laning phase is absolutely insane it scales as well it has a dash uh, the ultimate is absolutely broken it's also a way as well to um, it's also a way to increase the risk of the EN that we see a lot. For example, we saw Faker playing Lucian mid, and if you dash in all the time, you can't really let you can't really let the enemy like lane at all. So this is interesting. It's interesting because it gives more risk. It's like okay, if I dash in, I have to wait 22 seconds instead of like 18. So it will maybe turn off the notch a notch a little bit on Lucian's aggressivity. Aggress aggressivity, just uh, him being aggressive. Let's just say like that, uh, especially in the lane phase. 
So interesting, interesting, interesting there for your solution. Nautilus is going to be changed. Oh, I'm excited to see. I want to see Nautilus Jungle. I really want to see it back. I think it's really nice. Uh, the Q mana cost no longer increases with rank up. Nice. Very nice. The Q now refounds half if it's mana cost when it hits Terrans. Okay. Awesome. That's awesome. Like, that's, that's just a little gift. That's a little bit like a zero, a little chocolate here. You take it. Here you go, boy. Um, nothing else to say to be honest. It's just a nerf in mana. Nautilus doesn't have the biggest problem in mana cost. I want to say, uh, especially if you go like, like except if you go like completely like bananas in lane and you just spam E and all that stuff. But it's still something good. I think it's good and it allows Nautilus in this mid game to try more things like to, because once you hook and it costs a lot of mana, you can follow up with spells here. You have like a down, you have less of a cost in the mana, so you'll see Nautilus trying a little more hooks. Uh, so feel free to pick it up in support, especially because you can't really build mana as a support with Nautilus. Um, so this can be a good way for you to uh, be successful on it. Needly, guys. So the heal ratio is going to be increased, going uh, up 1, uh, no, 0 0.5 actually, with the minimum ratio, and the maximum is going to go up one this is really good i don't think nilly is a valuable champion just yet in this meta uh because it's the champ it's a champion that commits too much and the poking potential with the q isn't there yet especially with all the items we have uh, to counter that um not not there yet i don't think it's valuable i don't see i don't think we'll see any nilly during uh words to be honest uh the healing potential isn't gonna make it happen i don't think it's gonna bring it back but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about Nilly? Let me know. Let me know, guys. And Orn. Okay, Orn is going to be the last. No, it's not going to be the last change. Never mind. But Orn, ever since it was released, the. <clears throat> I want to say it wasn't. <clears throat> Sorry if I have, like, something in my throat, guys. But ever since Orn was released, it wasn't, like, a successful launch. I want to say right was kind of disappointed on that. So. It just, it just kind of sucks, like, nobody, I don't want to say nobody likes this champion, but, like, it, it didn't have a huge hit, and I, I personally haven't seen it ever since it came, came back in the last, maybe, in the last few games that I did this weekend, last week. So, the passive, guys, Orn's Masterwork upgrades are now locked until he reaches uh, level 13, okay, so this is new. Uh, the Zonia Paradox, so this is a new forge, Arias can only be forged into Zonia's Paradox. It's going to be a 1,000 gold upgrade. The ability power is going to go plus 30, and the armor is going to go plus 15. No change in the activables. Okay. Uh, our Call of the Forge God. Maximum ram travel towards Horan. It's going to go up a little bit. Okay, that's a little interesting. And then we have a bunch of changes, like mid-patch balances update. Oh, so that really already happened. So all that you should know, guys, but there's a lot of base stats, a lot of Q spell changes, some W changes. Uh... And that's it, the cooldown on the R going down. So they're really trying to get Orn as like a not a top tier jungle or a top tier top laner, but just like a champion that is out there and that can show potential. Right now it wasn't the case. Programmers weren't convinced. I wasn't really convinced of the really potential, like the big potential of this champion. They're trying to up it up a notch and see how the community reacts. If you guys like that, let me know. If you guys are a player of Orn, I'm actually curious what you guys think about this champion. So, feel free to leave a little comment down below. I'm, I'm happy to hear what you guys have to say. So, Rakan. Rakan is going to be changed. The W dash speed is decreased on late game. R radius is decreased and cooldown decreased late game. Rakan is one of the champions that I'm most excited. Like, when this champion was launched, I really hated it. And I just learned how to, like, love how to play him. And it's just so fun. If you guys are a support player and you're looking for a new pick, Rakan is the way to go, man. Like, some Rakan players are absolutely insane with it, and it's such an impressive and entertaining champion to watch, and I'm looking forward to see it at Words, to be honest. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, dude, guys, I can't wait for Words. I'm gonna tell you, I cannot wait for Words. I cannot wait to watch it. So, the W dash speed is gonna be a little, um, uh, so you're going to go up in flat, but really down in the percentage of movement speed. So I guess this is just a decrease in the light game and the R. Uh, the collision detection is going to go down, and the cooldown is going to go down as well. So it's a little up slash nerf. 
Uh, just something to balance out. A little bit what we've seen with other champions as well. No big deal. Rengar now is going to be changed with the base armor increase, going from 22 to 25. No big deal. You'll just have more health in the jungle after you finished. That's literally that's that's literally what's going to change. Like you're literally going to take less damage from jungle at level one, two, three, and four, and then that's not going to matter. Rise is going to be a change with a rune present going from 0.2 ability power ratio to 0.6 ability ratio. A huge up for rise. Uh, not sure why people aren't playing rise anymore. I feel like it's a very late game oriented pick and so risky and can be easily shut down uh, especially like if you have a good dive potential like if you have a good synergy programmers do this a lot like they shut down rises they get like a very strong jungle very duelist laners and they just shut down rise they die him and do they do just mean stuff to him so this is going to be a, this is going to allow him to really uh, be an investment for the late game and I'm pretty sure some teams will pick up will pick it up with success or without success We'll see. I'm excited to see rise. I think rise is uh, I was not a fan of the rework to be honest, but you know what? Let's just see uh, what pro gamers do uh, about it Tristana is gonna be changed and after we have rumble guys. I promise we are almost done I know we all already 20 minutes in this video, but you know what? It's the last patch before words. I got to take care of it I got to read it. I got to know stuff and hopefully you guys are still here So the E bomb ratio is being reduced. So the bomb ratio the bomb uh, The bomb ratio is going from 0 0.5 to 1.1 in bonus attack damage to 0 0.5 to 0 0.9 bonus attack damage this is, uh, okay, I guess because you max E on Tristana, so it's actually really nerf. It's a good nerf in late ga in early game, sorry. It's probably good as well for the, the turret damage that it does. It's pretty insane. Um, and the, just the natural way it just pushes. So the four stack bomb ratio, though, is going to go uh, down a lot as well from 2.42 to 1.98. Uh, so a little nerf on the E for Tristana. Tristana is still super OP. As long as you get through this laning phase, that can be a little hard, especially because your passive makes you push uh, naturally, you'll be fine. Like, it's one of the strongest and most ranged ADC in the game. And level 18, you can shine, baby. You can shine. Uh, last changes, guys, as far as champions are concerned, is Rumble. The Rumble heat bar non touch orange. Uh, when it's above 80, okay, nobody really cares about that, whatever, it's just the visual stuff. Now, let's move on to item, ladies and gentlemen. With the first change being Enchantment Cinder Hulk. You guys remember when we, we played Cinder Hulk Ezreal mid with Smite? That was super nice. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment if you remember this, uh, <laughs> this spirit of a very dark League of Legends when this used to be the meta. So, just the health is going to go down. Okay, health reduced, whatever. Uh, the spell thief edge, the spell thief edge line. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister here. So the last hit penalty. Yeah, so last hitting a minute tributes charges duration is paused for six seconds, uh, eight seconds instead of six. So a little nerf here, just a, a little, a bigger penalty. Uh, Frost Fang, the cooldown reduction. This is gonna give you ten percent cooldown reduction like this for free. Oh, uh, no, no, they're asking for more gold. Oh, no, they're not asking for more gold. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this. Cool. That's a that's a nice up overall. I'm, I'm liking it. So, the Cargoyle Stone... How did they come up with those names, man? What the hell? So, the, I'm not going to read all that. This it looks complicated, but the health granted by Stone uh, Plants Actives is now partially base health rather than entirely bonus health. Okay, that's... Wait, wait. Health granted by someone active is not partially... Okay, actually, I need to read the ratios because... Grant base health equals to 40% and base health and bonus health equals to 40% bonus health. Okay, okay. Gorgola active no longer scales. Okay, okay, whatever. Wow. Then, wait, so how much stuff... How much health... How much bonus health do you get as a Shogath that has, like, 4,000 health? Because... Your base health is because when you ah uh, yeah I guess it's not base health because it's a buff. Okay, never mind then. Um, I've actually I think this is actually a nerf for sure. Okay, exactly. Look, look. Will contribute less to effects that scales with bonus health as a result of the change. Sugar's often luck at shield being the most notorious offenders here. I had I just had to read, bro. The answer was right here, man. 
So it's a little nerf. It's something to counter a little bit of the show gas trend that's going on. Very smart for my games. Going for the base health uh, vibe. Knight of Vow is going to be the next, the last changes for this patch after it's all money for you guys to spend on new skins and stuff. So I'll let you guys read this. Uh, a new game mode coming up. But the Knight of Vow guys are going to get some cost decrease. $100, $100, 100 gold guys. The combined cost is going to go down as well. And the health is going to go down for 100 health. Very interesting. They're trying to put down the health a little bit on support, I want to say. Uh, Nazva was one of the most cost-efficient items for supports, I want to say. Uh, you get, I mean, you get, you, you get like a lot less health for the money you save. Like 100 gold isn't equal to 100 health. Uh, is Nazva still like, I want to say like, sorry about that, by the way. Is Knight, uh, Knight's Val like still valuable in this patch? I want to say yes. It's still like a champ. It's still a very unique item that some ADC would need you to do. Uh, so pay attention to that. It's just a little nerf on on health. I guess it isn't as cost efficient as it used to be, but it's still a very valuable item. So don't uh, don't worry about it, guys. Always like I feel this is a lot of like conversation with your ADC. Like, do you want me to build like you just asked? Do you want me to build like KV, and and then you do play around it and you see what's up. Some ADCs don't really like it. Um, they would rather have you build the Mercurial, um, like the the stuff that gives you like uh, that cancels the CC. Uh, I'm not very familiar with names of items in English yet. Sorry, but. Yeah, so just ask your ADC and spend your goals wisely because uh, this is going to be a uh, this is very important. So, uh, Championship Ash, Primetime Draven, Chroma, Ethereum, Cassiopeia, uh, Championship Ash, whatever. Um, oh, Championship Ash, okay, that's actually interesting. I didn't know that. Championship Ash is coming up, guys, then. Uh, as the new champion for, uh, if you guys, yeah, I think you have to get gold minimum to get it. So if you guys uh, don't know that, just uh, try hard in silk queue and make it happen. So thank you so much for watching this review of the patch 7.18. I know it was a long video, but that's it, guys. It's the last one before words. Now we are, we're down. Uh, we're done to see whatever happens. Now we just have to look forward to uh, the sport gamers training. And uh, we'll catch the World Championship together. And we'll see what happens. This was overall a very nice patch. I'm looking forward to like more Cassiopeia, more Nautilus, more Kalista, more Jarvan. Um, Fiora is going to be very interesting as well, Azir or whatever, but overall I'm very happy about this patch, it's just like, it's just little tweaks everywhere that just balance things out to make the game as balanced as possible, and I'm looking forward to it, obviously I want League of Legends to be a game where we see a lot of champions, um, for Dota 2 the International we saw like a 100 plus champion out of like 150, which was insane, like there's no meta in Dota 2, like you can literally play everything and win. Uh, League of Legends has always this default of like having, like you, the World Championship you will see like 30, 40 champions out of like 130, which is, which is really bad because a game needs to be balanced and we can't have champions that are just like irrelevant, that just, that shouldn't exist. So I'm looking forward to words guys, uh, put a thumbs up if you think this patch is really nice, put a thumbs down if you think that this patch sucks and, uh, let me know in the comment if you were expecting more changes for specific champion. And if so, what changes? What do you think should have been nerfed? And let's talk about it in the comment section, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow. Cheers.